Okay, so this is 11.10, which is mass and temperature. So in this topic, we're actually going to be talking about mass and then we'll talk about temperature. So I'm going to talk about these two things separately. Um, so first of all, we're going to talk about mass. Now, when we talk about mass, we mean the weight of an object, so how heavy it is. The basic unit used to measure mass is the kilogram. Um, other units you might use are ton, gram, and milligram. Okay, that's to measure mass. So capacity and mass are related because a litre of water, um, which is a liquid, has a mass of one kilogram. So one litre equals one kilogram. So you need to remember that. And that will help you to work out the mass of certain objects. All right, I also want you to make sure that you write down and remember this box here so these are the different units of mass uh, one gram equals a thousand milligrams one kilogram is a thousand grams and one ton is a thousand kilograms so please just write those down and make sure that you remember those all right now we're going to do some examples You'll be asked to convert to the units shown in the brackets like we did with length um, and volume. So we're going to work on this today. So you obviously have seen these sorts of diagrams before. We need to use these when converting. So when we're converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide. Uh, obviously, they'll be the number for the larger unit will be less. Okay, and then when we are converting from a um, larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. So remember, multiply right, divide left as well when we know how to move our decimal place. All right, let's do the first one. So 210,000 kilograms, and we've got to convert that to tons. So 210 thousand kilograms equals two hundred and ten thousand and we're doing from kilograms to tons so we're dividing all right so when we move when we divide we go left so our decimal place is here we're going on one two three because there are three zeros in one thousand so that's where we're going left three decimal places. So that means that 210,000 kilograms equals 210 ton. Alrighty, next one, 2.47 kilograms to grams. So we're converting kilograms to grams, so we multiply. 2.47 kilograms equals 2.47 times by a thousand. All right, and when we multiply, we move the decimal place right. So I might just do this down here 2.47. So we're going right three decimal places one, two, three. So we're going to have to put a zero here. That means my decimal place is now at the end. So it is 2,470 grams. So 2.47 kilograms is 2,470 grams. Okay, another example for you is a more complex example. So here you have to um, work out the mass of the water in the container in kilograms. However, we've only got the measurements in meters here so we do need to do a couple of conversions so this is where our knowledge of capacity and mass comes um, into it and volume as well so we need to work out first of all the volume of this so we need to know how much it will hold so volume equals length times width times height 15 times 12 times 2 
is 360 meters cubed. So we're in meters, but we've been asked to work it out in kilograms. Okay, so we need to keep going. So we need to convert meters to, first of all, we need to convert it to liters, then we can work out how many kilograms. Okay, so one cubic meter is a thousand liters. So we've got 360 cubic meters. So it will actually be 360,000. Oh, well, let's work it out first of all. Hang on. So we need to do 360 times by 1,000. And that will give us the capacity. So capacity equals 360,000. So that's litres. All right, now we're still going. We have to work it out in kilograms. So we know that one litre is one kilogram. So therefore, 360,000 litres is, so mass equals 360,000 kilograms. All right, so the answer then is 360,000 kilograms, which is the mass of the container. All right, phew. Now let's have a go yourself. I'm going to give you some easy ones, and I want you to work out the um, conversions for these, please. So pause the video and do that. Okay, so we're going to convert milligrams to grams. So we've got milligrams, converting it to grams. So we divide by a thousand. So 2,300 milligrams equals 2,300 divided by a thousand. Divide left, so we are moving our decimal place left. Three, one, two, three. So it's 2.3 grams. So 2,300 milligrams is 2.3 grams. Okay, I hope you pause the video to do this next one as well. 0 0.8 kilograms to grams. So when we're converting kilograms to grams, we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so we multiply by 1,000. So 0 0.8 kilograms equals 0 0.8 times by 1,000. So that means we multiply, so multiply right, we move that right three decimal places. So I'm going to have to do this here. One, two, three. Now decimal places now here, not here. So that means it's 800 grams. 0.8 the kilogram is 800 grams. All right, hopefully you got those correct. Now we're just going to talk about temperature. Temperature is pretty easy. We deal with it every day. So the common unit for temperature that we deal with here is degrees Celsius. Yet 0 degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water and 100 degrees Celsius is the point at which water boils. Alright, just a quick little problem solving question for you about temperature. The temperature of water in a cup is 95 degrees and after half an hour the temperature is 63 degrees. What is the drop in temperature? Okay, so we need to identify that we didn't really even need to worry that it was after half an hour. We just need to find out what the drop in temperature is. So it's pretty easy. We just, oh, how about you pause the video first before I explain to you what to do and work it out yourself. Okay, so what we need to do here is just look at the fact that we just need to take 95 away, or 63 away from 95. So it's as easy as that. We're just working out the drop in temperature. So it's just the difference. So 95 Take away 63, 
is 32. Okay, so it drops 32 by 32 degrees to 63. Okay, so the drop in temperature is 32 degrees. It's as easy as that. Okay, so we've worked uh, quite a bit on mass and a little bit on temperature. So I look forward to seeing you in class.